Hi everyone, this is Dr. Yu and I am here to help you log into ClassLink from home and how to access two things. First, Outlook, which is the email program that we use uh, for teachers to communicate with students and students to communicate with their teachers, as well as Teams, which is where all of your digital online learning is going to take place. So the first thing you're going to do is to go to the Leon County Schools website for COB, which is www.leonschools.net slash COB. Make sure that you are typing this all in lowercase letters and there's no um, spaces in any of the words. So it's www.leonschools.net slash COB, C-O-B-B. Okay, then you're going to, you'll see our, our website, which should look familiar to you. You're going to click on the class link uh, icon over here to get into um, the program we need. So I'm going to click on that. Um, and this is the page that you are going to see. You're going to click on this button that says log in with username and password. For your username and password, your username is going to be the same student ID number that you um, click on or that you enter in order to access any of the computers in the computer lab. So it's going to be your student ID number, which starts with either 171 or 180. And then if you notice up here, you're going to use the at symbol, which is shift to at edu.leonschools.net. This is going to be your username. Okay. So once you log in, you, um, when you log in from home, you have to use the entire, um, that entire string, your student ID number at edu.leonschools.net um, in order to log in. Okay, so once you do that and you enter the same password as you would for um, uh, for accessing your uh, class link at Cobb or uh, at home, so it's the same password there. Then when, once you go ahead and click login and uh, proceed through that, then you're going to get to this particular page over here. I'm going to close those notifications. This gives you access to all of the different things that you are going to need, including what we're going to talk about today, Office 365. Um, and uh, your page might look a little bit different than mine, but the, these icons are going to look the same. So you're going to look for the I icon that says Office 365. It is orange with a little key symbol over here. Once you click on that, your account's going to get approved, and then you're going to go ahead and continue over. OK, so we're going to look at two things right now. First is Outlook and then we're going to look at Teams. Outlook is your email program. So once you click on that, this is the page that you'll see. Obviously, yours is going to look a little bit different, um, but you'll have your inbox so that you can see all of the emails that your teachers might send you. And then you can also use the new message function to compose an email to your teacher. Um, the other thing we're going to take a look at over here is in uh, the Teams tab, so let's go back over here. This is what that Teams icon looks like right there. So you're gonna click on that. Once you click on this, this is what the uh, it's gonna look like. All of your classes that you are enrolled in is has a separate, you're automatically enrolled into that particular team for the class. So um, you, yours is gonna look a little bit different, but you're gonna click on the correct link for your class. Um, and here is, uh, here's one over that uh, MJ Critical Think. Um, this is the class that, um, as a sample here, your teachers are going to be uploading different class materials. Um, we'll leave uh, different files for you, have a class notebook, and also show you how to work the assignments and grades. So those are the way, those are the two different main things that you're going to need in order to get started um, with all of your stuff this week. If you have any questions, make sure you contact either your teacher or contact us at Cobb um, and we'll see you soon.